hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorial today in this video you will see how to create a swipe slider as you can see i have created a web page for mobile screen size because people use swipe option on mobile phone in this swipe slider i have created a user card that contains user's image name designation and contact button this swipe slider is in infinite loop it means when I will swipe after the last slide, then it will show the first slide. There is a beautiful transition effect when we change the slide. The active slide size becomes greater than the other slides. You will learn to create this complete design in this video. So keep watching this video till the end. Before starting this video, I will request you to hit the like button and also subscribe Easy Tutorials if you are new here. Now let's start this video. First, I have one folder here and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file and one more folder with so many images and icons. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. So this is my HTML file and this one is CSS file. I have connected HTML file with CSS with this line of code. Next just copy the body tag and add it into the CSS file because we will change the background color of the web page. So here we will add background linear gradient. This is the first color and this is the second color. We are using linear gradient color in the background. Let's come back to the HTML file. Here we will create one division and let's add one class name main. Let me just copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file. And here we will set the width. 350 pixel and height 100 bh margin 0 and auto 0 from top and bottom and auto from left and right position will be relative and overflow hidden and here we'll change the background it will be this color let's open this HTML file with google chrome And you can see the background color and this white color for the main div. Let's come to this div and here we'll create another div and one class name. I'm creating header. In this header we'll add one image. So I'm using img source and the image file path. Let me duplicate it because we need two icons. This is the well icon. In between that we'll add one text. So here I'm using P and the text is meet app. Refresh the web page and you can see this icon, one text and again one icon. Let me just copy this class name header. We'll add it into the CSS file. And here we'll add width. It will be 100% and we'll add padding 10 pixel and 0. Next we'll change the background so it will be this color and box shadow. Its position will be relative. Now you can see this bottom shadow Let's just copy this one. Here we'll add img for the icons. Width it will be 20 pixel and position will be absolute. Top and cursor pointer. Just copy it again and here we'll add p for the text. We'll change the color. and text align it will be center reload the web page and you can see both the icons on same place so we will fix the position for this icon so in the first one we'll add one class name and the class name is menu icon similarly we'll add one class name in the second one it is bell icon 
let's copy the first one write it into the CSS file and here we'll add left 20 pixel now copy the second class name write it here and here we'll add right 20 pixel reload the web page now you can see proper position for these icons after this div we'll create another div and we'll add one class name so i'm adding main text here we'll add one title so i'm using h2 and the title is our team then we'll add some text in a small size so i'm using a small tag so this is the small text now we'll refresh the web page you can see this title and a small text Let's copy this class name, main text, write it here and here we'll set the width and we'll add some margin, 50 pixel, auto and 0. Let's copy it again, here we'll add h2 for the title and we'll add margin from the bottom. In this main text we'll add color, this one. Now you can see different color and some spacing around this text. After this div, we'll create one more div and here we'll add the class name footer menu. We'll add some images here. So I'm using img source and the image file path. It is home2.png. Simply duplicate it and then change the image file name so now we have four different icons here let's copy this class name footer menu and we'll add it into the css file and for this one we'll add width 100 percent and position it will be absolute bottom minus 10 pixel and pattern 17 pixel, 5 pixel. Then background and box shadow. We'll use the same box shadow here. Just copy it again. Then write img for the images. Width it will be 20 pixel. Then margin and cursor pointer. Reload the web page and you can see four icons at the bottom and this box shadow. Next we'll add swipe slider. For that open this website swiperjs.com. You will find this link in the description also. Next click on this link get started. And from this page you can see we have to add this link so just copy and paste it here then copy this script link and we'll add it at the bottom before the closing body tag now click on this demo and scroll down you will find so many demo here let me choose this one loop mode you can see it is a loop slide so just click here source code and it will take you to this github page from this page just copy this part and add it here we will remove this one and we will remove other slides because we need only 5 slides. Next just copy these the scripts. Copy and paste it in the HTML file at the bottom. Here also we will remove this one navigation.
that's it let's refresh the web page and you can see here slide 1 slide 2 slide 3 and 4 and 5 so for now i'll remove other slides and in the first one we'll add content so here i'm adding one image just duplicate it and create it for the five times and change the image now refresh the web page and you can see four different slides with different images let's copy this class name swiper container here we'll add height 350 pixel then copy this one swiper wrapper here we'll add align items center then copy this one swiper slide and here we'll set the width 200 pixel and height 250 pixel border radius it will be 7 pixel just duplicate it and here we'll add img refresh the web page Right now you can see only one image in each slide. So let's come back to the bottom and here we'll change it to auto. And this one will add 40. Next we'll add center slides true and grab cursor true. Refresh the web page and you can see one main image here and two other images in the left and right side and you can see this grab icon on this image next we have to increase the size of the active slide so come to the css and here we will add swiper slide active just add transform scale 1.2 and transition 0.4 second. Reload the web page and you can see the main slide is larger than the other slides. Now in the first one we'll add one div and we'll add one class name. The class name is info. Here we'll add small title in h3. And after that, we'll add one text in P tag. Then we'll add anchor tag. Contact. Simply copy and paste it in the other slides also. Refresh the web page. You can see this title and a small text and link. Link is not visible here because we have fixed this height. Just copy this one info and add it into this CSS file. Here we'll add width 100% and padding 8 pixel 0. Background this one. Then position absolute and bottom it will be 0. Then text align justify border radius refresh the web page and you can see all these info on person's image just come back and just copy this one info write it here then write h3 for the title here we'll add font size and margin from the left side then font weight color will be white Simply duplicate it and here we'll add P. It will be 10 pixel font size and we'll remove the font weight. Now just copy it again. Here we'll add A for the anchor tag. And here I'm adding text decoration. It will be none. 
and color white color reload the web page and you can see this white color of title small text and this contact link in this link we will add float right then margin from the right side and margin from top it will be minus 28 pixel then border 1 pixel solid and white color and border radius font size it will be 10 pixel and padding 2 pixel and 8 pixel reload the web page and you can see this button in the right side Next we have to add some space above this slider indicator. So just come back to the HTML file, copy this one, swiper pagination. Here we will add bottom 0 and important. Reload the web page and you can see some space above this slider indicator and the slide is working fine. As you saw it was very easy to create this uh, swiping slider using swiper js i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and also subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video